never been a better time to be alive. You know, it's never been a more interesting time to be alive. That That is for uh, for dang sure. Welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio, hour number two. Uh, on this 27th day of November, uh, Tuesday. Wait a minute, it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, right now, we have uh, joining us uh, Sherry Sandor. Now, not Sandor Kelly, or am I? Am I supposed to say all no, three of them, Sherry? You can say whatever you want. It's it's well, really. I'm 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 in the middle of a divorce, but I I actually Aww. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the Kelly because it's I'm good gonna luck. go just Sandor. I think Do whatever you want, uh, man. Just call me Sandor. People usually SS, just go, hey, double hey, S. Sandor. Yeah. Oh, mm, well, see, there you go. Now S S no. S S S K S S. No. Sherry, I I I'm gonna bring you on officially here in a second, but I just want everybody to know that she is in the chat room, or at least was a second. Yeah, I just saw her there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if you want to uh, chat with her uh, during the program and myself, uh, please go to wideawakenews.com. Click on the Wide Awake Radio microphone in the right-hand corner. That'll take you right into the chat. We have uh, pushing 60 people in there right now. Uh, and again, uh, welcome uh, Oracle Broadcasting listeners on this, our third week of our simulcast broadcast with uh, Oracle as well as Rinse uh, Radio. If you have questions you want to call in uh, and talk to myself or to Sherry, you can call in at 877-342-6673. And let's get this ball rolling. This is the first time Sherry's been on the program, so we're going to do a little bit of a meet and greet here. Uh, Sherry Sandor, welcome to the uh, radio program. It's great to have you on. Uh, what's happening in your world? And uh, give us a little bit of uh, of history on yourself, how you got into this, the truth movement, how you got into uh, being a radio program host of your own. Tell us how we can hear you, where we can hear you. Tell us what you're doing with your dogs. Tell us what you're wearing right now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, <laughs> where did you sell me for a second? Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, I, I broadcast on uh, truecentralradio.com, and um, I have a few shows. The main show is The Jones Agenda, um, and I was, I, I was going on as Miss Jones because, um, I don't know, at the beginning it was kind of weird to be on the radio as myself. Um, yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's kind of like being naked. Um, and <laughs> I... Uh, Wait a minute. I, I, I just said yeah, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm not naked. I got a camera on me so people can see I me can on see just you. Not, he's, he's got clothes on, his, and right. Jack is now barking, now Charlie, and... That's oh, great, Jack. Jack. He's trying to he's trying to ruin my ruin my thunder. That's no, all right. No, he's, get on, he's, get, <laughs> see him? Jack is a a what? He's a black Labrador. He's, so a, he's black a black lab. and a yellow lab. Yeah, black and yellow lab. Clark Kent and Jack, and uh, they're about to get the kibosh. Jack, you better cut it out. <laughs> all right, up up. I see I have the bones right here. So um, I, you know, I I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't awake for a while. You know, I, I grew up in Chappaqua and um, just Chappaqua had a normal life. Those, Chappaqua, uh, New York. Who know where Hillary Clinton lives? She moved to my town, so that was cool. Lucky um, you. Lucky me. Uh, and and she'll uh, be there more uh, pretty soon because we're going to have yeah. Susan Rice taking her job. Oh, that's great. That's great, Susan Rice. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty good. That's yeah, good. Solid. So, so, so truth, truth. All right. So you, you. When did you wake up? Let me ask you that. When, when I wake up, well, I, I semi woke up in two thousand eight um, when. My then husband showed me, he, he's like, oh, did you hear about the Illuminati? I'm like, what are you talking about the Illuminati? Never heard of it before. And so I did a little research and I was like, whoa. And then I just hit the snooze button because I was like, mm. And then 2010, um, I uh, woke up to, well, Alex Jones, number one. He really woke me up, He, you know, because he was all like doom and gloom and FEMA's coming for you and the FEMA camps. So I was like, oh, no, this is horrible. What's going on with this? And um, I... Uh, then started doing research, and I got involved with a group, um, Able Danger, and was doing research with them. Uh, and it was primarily 9-11 stuff and, um, you know, doing, like, 9-11 pager intercepts and all that fun stuff. And um, it, it, it's a very tricky, tricky subject to get into the 9-11 debate or even the investigation because people, one, they look at you like, you know, you have horns on your head, or two, that you're absolute nut. You know, that why are you doing this? And I, I really got involved because I wanted to know what happened to Carlton Bartels, who was worked for Cantor Fitzgerald under CO2E.com, um, who had the residential trading platform uh, patent that was um, stolen on 9-11. Mm -hmm. It was hacked into. Um, and then that patent was used by Franklin Raines. And so there you go. Um, and, you know, it was, he was... The, the foremost um, advisor to the White House on the climate. You know, he was a visionary. He was he was a hippie. He was really cool, Carlton. I didn't know him, but just researching him and studying him, I feel like you know, I do know him. You know, um, and it was 
you know, and it's not, it's not, it's not a coincidence that called, you know, the, the first tower World Trade Center one was hit and he just happened to be where, where his office was on the 104th floor. I mean, that's exactly where the, whatever we call it, hit the building. Um, and then after that, it just kind of like spiraled into, you know, research. And I kind of, I didn't, I kind of got into the rabbit hole. Um, and then I came out of it and because I, my, my main field is acting, I, stage acting, but I quit that because you don't really make a living in that. It's kind of like you wait tables and that's it. Uh, and and, and as I, you know by now, you, you don't make a living in alternative media. <laughs> no, you don't. And that's not, we don't do it for money. We do it for, we do it for the work. We do it for the, the um, because we have to, because we, we need to. It's like this in, in name, in name, like spirit inside of us that just says we have to keep going. And it, it doesn't matter what anybody says. You know, I, I said, I don't care. I have to keep going. I don't care if you call me a wacko or whatnot, but I, there's something in me that has to keep going and I have to do this. And, you know, all of us around the world, we have to do it because we know that there's something wrong with this whole entire world. And we know that there's a bigger picture going on. So we're just, all of us are just, you know, getting together and, you know, having a big party about it. And it's, it's a good feeling because, you know, it's fun, like being, being together with people who, you know, some people I mean, they don't actually understand, you know, where you're coming from about, you know, being, being part of this, this movement where we see something that is inherently wrong and we can connect the dots and say, mm, this is wrong. And this is, this, all of these things are connected. I mean, and, you know, it's, and that's why, I mean, we don't, we don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the fame. I don't do it for anything. I don't, you know, that's why I was anonymous. Um, but I felt, you know, the need to actually, you were the one that outed me out today, Charlie, because I went on your website. I was like, Oh my God, he outed me out. Sherry Sandal County. I was like, Oh, okay. I guess I'm going to out myself out this morning. <laughs> so when I went on, um, awake radio, uh, dot UK with April rain, I was like, okay, well just introduce me to Sherry Sandal Kelly because Charlie already outed me out. So yeah, you're I guess out. My, you're out of, yeah, I'm, I, out. I'm out. And I'm, I'm not going to apologize it. for that because no, uh, I, <laughs> I thank you for you're it. You're out I, now. I'm out. Welcome to the I'm, team. Thank you very much. And we're not talking about the other team. We're talking about the truth team. That's right. uh, you know, and it, it was, it's, it feels good. You know, it feels good to, you know, kind of be in your own skin and um, just, you know, be, you know, just be, be truthful. Because I, I, at the end of the day, if you're going to be, if you're going to be on radio and you're going to be, you know, talking about the truth, you know, you got to be yourself. You can't be, you know, Bugs exactly Bunny, right. you know, because it, it, it legitimizes it. And, and that's what we need. We need, we need to be legitimate about this. We need to make it to the forefront of the truth because otherwise it's not going to, you know, it won't, it won't hold weight. No, yeah. that, that's exactly right. And, and trust me, you know, the things that you're talking about, I, I the, the notion of uh, putting your name out there, um, mm. you know, that, that, that's a tough thing, man. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of people just won't do it or a lot of people can't do it. You know, they, they just, they, right. it, it's a really, it, you, you really cross a line if you think so or not. I mean, and it doesn't matter if you're doing it on uh, internet radio. It doesn't matter if you're doing it on YouTube. It doesn't matter if you're doing it writing articles that you're signing your name on. <clears throat> Once you put yourself into that domain, uh, not only are you a target because you most assuredly are, sure. um, you, everything changes. It, and uh, uh, you know, I, I in 2008, some somebody asked me in chat uh, to to uh, ask me when did I wake up, and I'm going to give a real brief summary here before we go into the break. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, I'm going to try to anyway. I'm very, barely, very rarely brief in, in talking. But, uh, uh, guys, my my my, uh, my uh, Internet went down that I'm in the chat with, so I, I'm not in there at this moment. I'll fix this uh, during the break. But, you know, in 2008, I had to make a decision uh, uh, if I was going to start making YouTube videos. I really, really wanted to because I was really, really pissed. Uh, it, it, the, the last event that completely woke me up, uh, was uh, the bailout when the beginning of the bailout phenomenon when when Hank Polson was able to with basically write a note on a napkin and uh, and get uh, seven hundred billion dollars and when I tried to take out uh, you know less than fifty thousand dollars out of a four hundred one k that I was completely one hundred percent vested in my money not contributions from my employer my money that went into it um, I had to fill out uh, sixteen or eighteen pages of uh, documentation. And then give a giant chunk of it. Well, I I did that before the bailouts, and then when the bailouts occurred, I saw old Hank uh, Gunslinger said managed to uh, extort trill uh, billions, which just turned into trillions, uh, just with a threat and a a, uh, a note on a post-it. Uh, so that's was finally when I crossed the line. We're going to be back with Sherry. Soon to be just Sandor and more Wide Awake News Radio in just a moment. Hang tight.
Wide Awake mm-hmm. News Radio, Charlie McGrath, your host. Uh, welcome back. Sherry Santor is our guest. Uh, and I and I was, you know, she was telling us a little bit about herself, how she woke up, and I and I thought it was kind of uh, uh, apropos, I guess, because we were talking about that with uh, Bob Tuscan in the first hour a little bit, um, and you know, the the notion of getting getting your face, getting your name out there, uh, is a it's a difficult thing, you know, and and once you do, uh, there's really there's no going back, and you know, I've I've uh, I've spent a lot of time uh, in front of this. Uh, this camera, either on YouTube or on uh, the radio program and this microphone. And uh, because of that, <clears throat> I've ended up doing a lot of uh, interviews on, on media outlets and uh, appeared in a lot of websites and uh, thinking that, that I could keep this disconnected from my day life right. was a fantasy. Uh, <laughs> and, and, I, and I haven't been able to do that. Now, at some point in, down the road, I, and I don't know when, um, I really think that it's going to be a matter of it's going to be put before me. You, you, you can do one or the other, but you can't do both. Exactly. And, yeah, sorry, and go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to that day, but if it happens, it happens because Sherry, as you said, you know, a light switch goes on and you realize you're either going to, you're either going to accept the truth for what it is uh, and then not give a damn if uh, if anybody else uh, agrees with you, disagrees with you, or how they feel about what you have to say, um, or you're not, and and if you make that decision, there's really no turning back. Exactly. You know, it's it's so Jack. You know, you're, <laughs> Jack agrees with me too. Jack agrees with you. He's he's all with you, Charlie. It, you know, it's it's it, I said it to April this morning on um, Awake Radio uh, that uh, it was kind of weird that I'm on Awake Radio and Wide Awake, and uh, and it's my coming out day. Hmm. Wow, hail but Caesar. not in that way. Or wait, maybe not that way. Well, of- oh, no, it's no, it's not. Well, it okay. could be. No, no, it's not. Everyone's like, oh, it could be. You just out. said it could be. You're gay? No. Well, I don't. No. What? I, no. What? I'm I didn't not say gay. that. <laughs> what? What did you say, Charlie? Not, I'm not what? gay, everybody. Okay, <laughs> you know. Uh, um, you know, I said, you know, enough is enough. That I, I said, you know what? This is done. And I was thinking about it like three weeks ago about coming out of, of the, 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 you know, the persona of Miss Jones and. From being anonymous to being to being a person, you know, even though we're actually all dead, apparently, um, you know. And I said, you know, it's only the way that if, if, you know, when I come out, I come out, and that's that's it because I, I had enough. I've had enough of this lying to you. I've had enough of this misinformation, the disinformation, the sequestering, the suppression, the the suiciding of everybody, all the witnesses, you know. And, it, and it, it's so obvious. And I just, you know, I. I've had enough of it, you know, and yeah. and so be it. I, you know, and I'll, I'll take that plumber with you if they're going to come out. They, they can get us both. I'll shield you, you know, because <laughs> I don't, I don't fear, I don't fear them because I know what we have the truth, and that's it. As long as we have the truth and we know in our hearts what is true and what is honest and good, that is it. Because the first rule is do no harm, and they certainly have done harm to all, and um, yeah. you know. That's it, you know, and I think that it was Gaza, the, the, the video I saw from my friend. Um, uh, it's called The Real Situation in, in, in Gaza. It's on YouTube. Right. Just punch in The Real Situation in Gaza, and it's 19 minutes. I think I, I sent it to you. I think I'm, I, I think I maybe spared you. But it's 19 minutes of just, you know, just brutal, brutal, brutal stuff. And, uh, you know, it's enough. No, you did send that. Sherry, you did send that to me. I did. And, and it was horrifying. Um, and mm-hmm. in fact, I'm going to try to find it in Skype where you sent it to me, uh, although it was a... Uh, I can it, resend it, you. Uh, what's that? I can resend it to you. Yeah, you resend can, it in Skype right now. Yeah. And, and I'll put it in the chat and, and, you know, watch it at your own risk. But this is what's happening. And, and uh, in a lot of cases, uh, this is what's happening in our name. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it, when, when you compare, when you compare, you know, people's uh, worry about or their dread or their angst about uh, speaking out and, and, and being ridiculed and, and being uh, mocked or, or whatever the case is, you know, when, when you compare that to the atrocities uh, on every aspect, on every front that are happening, then uh, it really puts it into perspective. I don't care. I don't care if somebody thinks I'm a, a lunatic. I, yeah. You know, go ahead. I cut you off. Okay, we might have Sherry. Are you with us? Okay, we might have lost her, and we'll uh, we'll uh, try to get her back on here. If not now, then uh, during the break. But uh, what I was saying is, and Sherry, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm just going to continue on this thought. 
you you have to you have to make up your mind that you're either going to you know first of all if you're if you're plugged into all this um as in entertainment because it's uh you know you know like sherry said she she tuned into alex jones because he talked a lot of gloom and doom stuff and fema's coming you know i know there's a lot of people that, that plug into this uh because they they have this romantic notion that this is going to occur and uh that uh you know there's going to be this uh, period of time where there's no government and there's no law and it's going to be a free for all survival survival of the fittest they think whoever's going to have the most guns is going to win and uh, unfortunately uh if that did occur, it would be the, in my opinion, the absolute most terrifying uh, outcome possible. Because not not uh, not because it doesn't need to happen, but because look what's going on in Gaza, look what's going on in the Middle East. This is what it looks like when it's lawless. All right, we're gonna be back with uh, more Sherry, more Wide Awake News Radio in just a few minutes, guys. Hang tight. Hey right, guys, welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. Charlie McGrath, your horse host, your horse, your horse. Uh, Sherry Sandor is uh, is our guest, and those listening on Justin TV. Uh, you heard the uh, the adult version <laughs> uh, during the break because we were discussing words that could and couldn't be said. Uh, but it's all well and good here. We're not under any uh, obligation uh, other than the ones we said on ourselves, on our on our language or our speech. Uh, Sherry, welcome back. I'm glad we connected back up. Your your signal seems to be quite a bit better now. So hopefully uh, uh, we can uh, we can continue. Yeah. What's that? We can commiserate. We can we can we can commiserate. Yes. Um, all right. So we we've got to the point. You're you're awake. You're you're you said enough is enough. You're going to go out and you're going to do a program. Uh, you're doing yes. a program under a pseudonym. And now since uh, because of more work that uh, we've done here on Wide Awake News Radio, we have outed you to the world. So from now on, it's going to be the Sherry Sandor program, I'm hoping. Uh, sure. And um, it, well, I usually do the Jones agenda. But if I do, if I do, you know, if it do, if they do get me, blame Charlie. <laughs> it's going to be my fault. It's going to be your fault. I did it. No, it's, 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 yeah, that's fine. Sherry Sandor, uh, uh oh. I've got a, uh, you got my, a growling uh, dog. Jack doesn't. No, I've got a howl. I've got a howl on my computer and I've got two growling dogs now. Both of you, I'm, guys, it's, uh, yeah. Do you see this, Charlie? Yeah. See what I'm dealing with? This is what I'm dealing with. I'm in my mother's basement because I, I was, uh, I, I was in Long Beach. That's why I'm actually in Chappaqua. Now, Long Beach, Long Beach, New York, Long Beach, California. Long Beach Sherry is gone. I think we, uh, Gary, do we got her or is she, she outie because she's still on my, uh, my screen here. Sherry, one, two, three. Call just dropped. It's, um, uh, mm. okay. Uh, yeah, she's having, <laughs> she's having some internet problems tonight. I'll, uh, I'm, I'm going to go back in the background and try to reestablish the call. All right. Very good. <clears throat> and we'll continue on here. And I got, uh, I had a message come in from Bob. I want to read this because I think it was pretty important, uh, Okay. All right. So if you want to call in and, uh, and tell us your story of uh, how you were awakened and uh, attempts that you might have uh, had and, and that have been successful or failed, uh, 877-342-6673 while we continue to uh, try to reestablish uh, contact uh, with Sherry. And I hope we do because I really want to talk a little bit more about uh, about her program and what she's got going on. The The... You know, to elaborate on on the question that was asked earlier in chat of me, which was, you know, when when did I wake up? How did I wake up? Uh, I, I told you the end first. You know, I told you the the final straw, the I don't care what anybody thinks anymore moment, uh, was certainly watching the fiasco uh, of two thousand seven and two thousand and eight. Uh, uh, and you know, keep in mind this is this is on uh, on the heels of. Uh, thinking that you know the the red team had better answers than the blue team, and I was out marching with uh, with the occupy or excuse me with the Tea Party movement uh, when George W. Bush was still president, thinking that we might actually uh, have a chance of uh, of some real kind of uh, change. Uh, but you know the, the true awakening for me began uh, when I was holding a, a M16 in the Gulf uh, in the Persian Gulf. Uh, under George uh, uh, Herbert Walker Bush, under his war uh, in the Middle East, in Iraq, uh, in uh, the early 90s. You know, it, seeing the carnage, seeing the destruction. Here we go. We got a ring. I got a ring going on my ear here. Might have a, we have a... Gary, we got a backup number here. Is this a cell? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm trying to raise Sherry on her cell phone. Okay. 
This is fun. It's like a prank call. By the way, you do have a caller. Hello. You reach me. Leave me a message. She's not there. Tell me. I'm not gonna deal with the caller until we. All right, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll Skype message. No, maybe I will. Uh, Sherry and tell her we're trying to call her on her uh, on her deal. Um, anyway, so uh, Jason, I see you on the line there, and we're gonna go to you next here. I but I'm gonna uh, wrap up my thought here. Being in that environment, seeing the carnage, seeing the destruction, remembering uh, at the time how we we were lulled into this sense of uh, patriotic duty to be down there. You know, we're liberating Kuwait. This is all about liberating Kuwait. Uh, and then, you know, coming back, uh, seeing a lot of my friends that were just, you know, really messed up, seeing a lot of my friends that are ill and are still ill uh, to this day because of their experience down there. And yet we never left. We never left. I mean, we we killed thousands and thousands and thousands of people, decimated uh, the, the military of uh, Hussein and uh, got him out of Kuwait, but we never really left. I mean, that region of the world was has been in conflict ever since. You know, that was the beginning process of thinking, wait a minute, I'm, if I'm being lied to about what I raised my hand and, and swore an oath to the Constitution to defend, to protect, if I was being lied to uh, by, that, by the same government uh, that would uh, have no problem having me make that oath, make that assertion of... Uh, uh, that I was going to be faithful to this constitution of this country and then turn around and lie to me on the reasons why I'm watching people die and I'm watching friends be sick and I'm watching the continuation of this uh, of this spreading of air quote democracies uh, nonstop for one one phony reason after another. You know, if they're lying to me about this most sacred thing, what else are they uh, l- be willing to uh, lie to me about? And the truth of the matter is the answer is everything. They'll lie to you about anything and everything. And once you start, you know, go down that process, you know, for me, uh, like I said, for for some people, for some people, it's an an instant uh, switch goes on and they're completely awake and and they're they're questioning and challenging everything. I don't think that's the case for most people. I think most people will will pick one thing and and they'll they'll think on that and they're, you know, they'll they'll use their own brain uh, to try to get information on uh, on a topic or a subject. And, and once they realize that, you know what, they've com- been completely bamboozled on that topic or subject, um, they'll, they'll spread and move to the next thing. And then, then it just starts to snowball. And, and I think that is the best way to wake up because you don't freak out, uh, but you do, uh, you do come to a point where you realize that, that, you know what, this whole entire system from where my dollars come from to the reasons we're killing people is completely based on lies. Okay, let's go to Jason with still a few minutes left in this segment. Jason from California. Thank you very much for uh, holding. What's on your mind, sir? No problem. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I just wanted to get your take on this article that came out um, on endthelie.com, which is a really good alternative news uh, source. And um, it's an article that says, Alternative Media King hires CIA Stratford agent as publishing editor-in-chief. And by Alternative Media King, they're talking about Alex Jones. Interesting. So apparently, I have, I, Mallard. Go oh, ahead. You've seen it? No, I haven't. Go oh, ahead, though. Tell, tell me more about it because I find it interesting. Because I, I, I subscribe to. Uh, you can you anybody can go subscribe to Stratford. Uh, this this is a for profit intelligence uh, agency. Uh, you can subscribe to their newsletter, and uh, they and I subscribe to them just like I do to many other uh, that might surprise people. You know, like the Obama. Uh, re-election campaign and all that. I subscribe to all that stuff because I want to see the kind of garbage uh, that they they send out with their with their messages. Uh, but Straffer is a very uh, very well known for profit uh, intelligence service. Uh, and so please continue. They they somebody from there is now handling stuff for Jones. Is that it? Yeah, he just hired her for. Um, let me get to the top of the article here uh, for um, publishing editor in chief. And her name is um, Molly Marini. And um, basically, she worked for the CIA um, from her dealings with Parker Media. Do you know Parker Media? Um, Marini became an intern for Stratford. She was at the CIA from Intelligence Collecting Corporations for 11 months between October 2009 and August 2010. And she, uh, her employment intersected between... Parker Media and Stratford when she was in the CIA, and then Alex Jones went ahead and hired her on, 
and it's all vetted. It's all you can get all the information. Just go to endthelie.com, which is a really good website. I I, I'm, I don't if it doesn't matter if I plug that, but no, no, yeah, that's fine. In the, uh, in the are, lie. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go there now. Go ahead. Uh, Jason, hang on the line, okay? I, I want to ask you a few questions about uh, what you think this means. Uh, because, you know, Alex Jones is certainly the biggest figure in alternative uh, uh, in alternative media, at least arguably the biggest figure in alternative media. Uh, Jason, hang tight. We're going to be back. I want to ask you a few questions on that. We'll be back. Uh, maybe we're going to try to get a hold of Sherry on our cell. Hang tight, guys. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Guys, welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. Final segment. Uh, we're not having any, uh, we're having no luck uh, getting hold of Sherry. Uh, so we'll get her on again uh, real soon, hopefully uh, with a bit better uh, internet connection so we uh, we can have her for an entire hour. Uh, we do have Jason. Jason, are you still on the line? Yeah, I'm still here. All right, man. Let, give me that website again because is it in, in the lie.org? No, dot com. In the lie.com. Okay, hold on. Let me let me go. And, and, and so so uh, Jones is going out hiring Stratford execs to come in and do what exactly for him? Um, uh, to be the uh, publishing or uh, publishing editor in chief. Wow. So and, I and has go, has he been called oh, out ahead. on air on why he would do, do that or what's 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 your take on it? No, that's why I'm, what I'm waiting to see because this is a. If you go to end of the lie, he's really good. Rupert Madison, he had a radio show. He's pretty solid, and he, he just doesn't, you know, he really researches things and gets to the bottom. He's got a great site here. And, I mean, everybody wakes up from Alex Jones. I mean, of course, he's huge. He, you know, it's like Drudge to me, you know, and Strapper. Of course, you know, you're going to, there are going to be these giant alternative media resources you know, putting out information that you're... But it just scares me how many people, uh, you know, follow him and believe any story he produces, regardless of the lack of validity or proof, you know. And yeah. having this new uh, Molly Marini on his staff just gives Jones a clear, direct link to Stratford, you know. And, of course, you know, they, they're going to benefit from protection by a, a CIA operation, you know. Well, that, and, and obviously that's, uh, you know, that's the... the uh... The, the conclusion one would jump to, correct? I mean, that, that this is, you know, the, the the accusations that are leveled, especially in alternative media, are are constant. You know, uh, I was telling uh, uh, Bob Tuscan that I've had, I, I probably had over 100 emails of people accusing me of being a, a Mossad agent, this kind of thing, uh, that kind of thing. And, and certainly Jones gets, uh, as well as Rents gets, you know, labeled one thing or another. Um, but uh, that, that that is a bizarre coincidence, without a doubt. So, so you're a Mossad agent, and I get hate mail from the uh, ADL. <laughs> how's, so there that, you go. how's that? Out. How's that work out? It balances out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, Jason, I, I greatly appreciate the call and the information. Um, and Rupert Madison, I, I, I'm not too sure. I think I might have even had interviewed him on the program before. Uh, but I'm looking at the site now, and it does seem uh, to have a lot of great information in there. So if you want to plug it one more time, go ahead. Yeah, it's endthelie.com. All right, man. Yeah, and, and, I, and the article, you'll see the article, just scroll down. It was from yesterday. I appreciate you calling in and sharing this uh, information. Thank you. All right, Gary, okay, it's you lot, and me, Charlie. buddy. All right. What's that, Jason? All right, Jason's gone. So, uh, Gary, it's you and me, buddy. We're rounding out the last uh, six minutes here, and I want to ask you a question. Sure. Since we've been on the topic of uh, waking up, <laughs> when did when did you wake up and how? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. When when did you? I, and I know I know I'm gonna get. I probably shouldn't ask this because I'm gonna get some psychedelic '60s. Well, you know, I I I rode my dinosaur into uh, into Woodstock in when the I was summer of love in 1969, and <laughs> I was by Chappaqua on my way to Woodstock. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, there's there's different levels of waking up now. You know, it, and frankly, you know, for me, it's been a very slow slow process. I mean, you know, we we thought we knew who the bad guy was back in 1967. It was something we called the man. Or the military-industrial complex, because you know we were 
you know, we were poor post-war baby boomers, and we just heard that speech by old, uh, you know, Eisenhower warning us about, you know, a military-industrial complex going to mess up your lives. So when we looked around and we saw our lives being messed up, we said, aha, that's got to be the bad guy. Old Ike warned us about it, you know, and uh, so, you know, for the longest time, boy, you know, military-industrial complex was the focus of our rage, and, you know, an illegal war in Southeast Asia was our target of opportunity, but... Uh, you know, over the years, you know, obviously, you know, and I'm not even sure I really, you know, I mean, let's be honest. Do any of us really know all the different layers of the onion? I don't claim to. No. I mean, I, I, I know the items that are near and dear to me, the items that, you know, just absolutely burn my bottom. And, yeah, and, that, uh, and you know, that that's a great point. That That's a great point. And uh, it goes back to uh, the Doomsday Prepper program. It goes back to... <clears throat> This uh, this notion, uh, as they do on that program, of segmenting uh, the fears of people into certain little categories. Uh, but it, it is the onion. I mean, because everybody on there has a valid uh, reason to be prepping, uh, but nobody really knows the the uh, how deep and how uh, 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 the conspiracy, if you will, goes, or how how much the corruption there really is, or or uh, you know where the next uh, where the next uh, trigger is going to be pulled at nobody really knows i mean the military industrial complex that eisenhower warned us about uh so many years ago he, he was right on the money and and if we look at just the people who worried about that uh, even in the 60s even in the 50s and 60s and and look at how that's developed he was 100 percent right i mean that, he was 100 percent right we need to watch out for this powerful organization uh with nameless faceless and that doesn't answer to anybody uh, yet it, it uh, through its uh, influence, financial influence, uh, dominates uh, government or, or could dominate government. Well, guess what? He was right. It has. So, you know, that, uh, along with many other layers in this onion, uh, have led to where we're at. So you know, the, the, I, the real I, problem, I, the real problem for us, and, you know, we, we've got to be very aware of this, is, that, you know, the the enemy whether you call it, you know, the Illuminati or whether you call it, you know, the Zionists or whether you call it, uh, you know, the whatever. I mean, you put whatever name on it you're comfortable with. But, you know, these guys, whoever the hell they are, are masters at pitting us against each other. And I see all this rage in the chat room over Jones. Okay, mm -hmm. well, you know, Jones has his place. He serves his function. Okay, now you may not agree with everything the man has to say. You may think he stepped over a line here or stepped over a line there. But in the battle to come, the enemy of my enemy is my ally. And I'll tell you what, I'll dive in a foxhole with Jones. I'll dive in a foxhole with Rents. I'll dive in a foxhole with any of them when it comes right down to it. Because we all face a common enemy. We may have different ways of approaching the enemy. We may see, you know, different challenges ahead of us. Each of us comes at it from our own perspective. But I will not be divided and conquered. I'm sick and tired of them playing the game on me. And I, for one, am not going to fall for it. <laughs> I was mad, Gary. I like it. It's mad Southern gentleman, Gary. I, I, I could not agree uh, let me think about everything you said there before I just make a blanket statement. I couldn't agree with you more. I, I mean, I, I, you know, wh however you feel uh, about anybody in this uh, in this genre, uh, the fact is, uh, you can usually you can hold on a minute here. This thing's blowing up. You can usually uh, uh, tell if what they're saying is, is uh, uh, valid or if it's going to stand the test of time. Uh, very, very quickly because it will do just that. It'll stand the test of time and they'll be around for a while. You know, there's a lot of folks uh, that I know that have come and went uh, because they, they're they made out to be what a lot of people accuse them of being, which is money-grubbing charlatan, that kind of thing. And they don't last. They're not around very long. You know, they're, they're around six months, a year, year and a half, two years. And, and guess what? Uh, they, they're not there because they, in my opinion, they're not there for the right reasons. You're not doing this to make a bunch of money now is alex jones making a bunch of money absolutely he's making money probably hand over fist um but you know what I, that doesn't make him a shill 
uh, that doesn't automatically make him or anybody else a shill because they make money. The folks that uh, that are coming out here telling you, you know, send me money through my PayPal account because uh, my three-legged dog tripod uh, got hit by a car, they're gone. They're gone and because they're not giving you anything other than a shtick. And uh, those guys come, they go, and, you know, that – and in a lot of cases, uh, if they try to develop themselves into being something other than that, uh, the, the most damage they do is the reputation of, uh, of alternative media because the folks that truly tune in, the folks that are awake or, or are awakening and tune in to alternative media to hear the truth, to hear people uh, that we bring on to these programs and, and to give uh, perspective that they won't get through the mainstream – you know, when, when uh, charlatans, air quote, uh, when they try to grab onto that, it never seems to work. You know, they, it always comes over as a sales job, as a pitch. And uh, you see those guys come and go uh, very, very quickly. So uh, everybody's going to get m made to be out to be doing something for the wrong reason. Let time tell you if it's right or not. Do they, do they provide you with information? Is it information that is beneficial to you? Is it information that is beneficial to uh, waken folks up, uh, then they, and Gary's right, they serve their purpose. You oh, know, and are, and, are and they by important? the way, I would like to mention that my dog Tripod needs a, a serious operation. Anybody? Yes. <laughs> I, my dog Tripod needs a new router. <laughs> yeah. My dog Tripod needs a new wooden leg. <laughs> yeah. He needs a new router and uh, a new bone. So and You know, I, I tell you what, uh, that's another thing that we don't do enough of is laugh at ourselves because you know come on guys i mean you know none of us is the oracle none of us is all knowing and none of us is all wise you know we bring you the truth as we understand it it may be flawed maybe it may be per may not be perfect but you know we see something that we think stinks and we show it to our friends and neighbors in the hopes that you know We'll get personal validation that, yeah, what we thought stinks really and truly does stink. How about that? I'm not the only one. And also, because, you know, that stuff you just stepped in, I tried to warn you about it, and you didn't listen. Okay, now you got to scrape it off your foot. What do you think, Charlie? <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. Scrape it off your foot, Gary. I mean, we're, we're, you know, and one way you could look at it is that it's divide and conquer, uh, even in alternative media, right? It's divide and conquer rhetoric. It permeates everything because this is the system that we have. You know, I, I'm supposed to hate NBC. I'm supposed to love ABC. I'm supposed to love uh, the Democrats and hate the Republicans. I'm supposed to hate the South and love the North. I'm supposed to love the working class and hate the uh, entrepreneurs. I'm supposed to hate big business and I'm supposed to uh, love uh, illegal immigration. Whatever, whatever the case is, it's divide and conquer. So it's natural that we, I think that we see an alternative media. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me for uh, two hours tonight. Um, I appreciate uh, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the participation. Um, thank you uh, to Bob Tuscan for hour number one and uh, Sherry uh, Santor. Thank you for joining me for hour number two. We will uh, get the uh, communication issues fixed and get her back on again uh, real soon. All right, guys, enjoy Jeff Rince because he is coming up next. Have a good night. Peace.